another episode. So, it's time to put the rear end in. I have cleaned up the workshop like I said I would, printed some new t-shirts in this nice purple colour. So, if anyone wants one, I might put them on the website, I just printed out something for me to wear. But, right, this episode, we are gonna put the rear end in. I have got to go away this weekend for a trip to York, so I wanna try and get this done and in before I go. Probably not the bags, but I wanna try and get the rear end in. So, this episode. That needs to go in there. What I'm gonna do is cut these rear rails completely off. If you've got a better idea, leave it in the comments, but I'm gonna cut these completely off. Then mount that bit of box across that chassis. Rear end will then be in. We will then build a cradle around this whole thing to hold the rear bags, mounts, everything like that all in there and then put the back half of these rails back on. That will then bolt back into the car. Have to cut the floors out but we'll do that anyway. So hopefully this will work. If it doesn't, I've just put it out for the whole world to see me fail. So, let's get to it. Probably cat deed that um, saws all blown. <laughs> but one side's done, I won't film the other side because only time you want to see it. But we'll report back in a moment, hopefully with the chassis cut off and no tools on fire. Hmm. Right, chassis off. Now you can probably see what I was talking about. So this rear end will now go on this chassis and then the rails will come here, over and back. Hang on, let me get the rear end out. I'll show you what I mean. So this will basically go back on, but with that section in the bin. I'll run them up the inside. That should all work. Um, I'll make some gussets and things, put some strength back in it, but the idea is there and it should work. So let's get on with it. So I've got the chassis all prepped. I was about to weld on the uh, beetle rear end and then I had a random thought. So I went home, spent that night pondering, 
And I can't see a reason to put this much effort in to then take it all apart again to build it with wishbones and things. So I had an idea. It's going to be a massive U-turn now. I'll just show you. Follow me. Oh. We are that. Well, there you go. You can see the plan. I brought this when I had the yellow truck to steal the engine out of. So it's low mileage. It's a low mileage car. It's just, well, I say low mileage, it isn't that low. It's on 102,000, I think. It's the 1.8 VV2. VVTI, VVT, VTEC. Now, I've done some measuring. Front subframe should fit, rear should fit. Austin should still sit on the floor. But it means the money I could spend on, hang on. The money I was gonna spend on the Beetle stuff was cheapest I could find an engine, 1500 quid. You know, beam air ride stuff like that is another grand 1500 quid. So that's three wheels. Well, I'm still gonna put wheels on it, but that adds to it as well. So rather than doing that, we're just gonna skip that step and go straight for the straight for the MX-5. So I'm gonna pull the rear subframe off, front subframe, take it to work, mount them on the chassis, then engine. I spoke to Motorsport Electronics who now do a complete standalone ECU for these because they've got some weird things like the clutch pedal's got a switch on it that changes your idle, I believe. So it'll get rid of all that stuff. Um, I, I had planned to put the Austin engine back in, but I think I might just put this one in. And then, speeds. At least we can go to Snetterton or, you know, attempt to drift the Austin. But, yeah. I'm going to break the rest of this car if anyone's after. It's got heated leather and all that jazz. I'll break it. If not, I'll cut it in half and put it in the skip. Car's about to get interesting. So, ignore the first part of this video. When we come back with next week's video, hopefully we'll be putting some Miata stuff on the Austin. But, <coughs> I'm away for this weekend, so that's going to be the end of this one. Um, Thank you to everyone who watched the last one. That was the highest views we've had on a video. And hopefully they get a lot better from here and a lot more entertaining. So, if you can like, subscribe, comment what you think about the change of ideas, because that'll help. And I think it's the right idea. Uh, yeah, so like, share, subscribe, comment. There's something with a bell. But until next one, noise. Just to add. I've not forgot about the LT, I'm just building up to it. <laughs>